Sagittarius, I promise you, I did not forget you. It was that I got busy. And trust me, y'all Sagittarius over here was like, where's the reading? Where's my reading? She'd been asking me for a couple of weeks. And I was like, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So I apologize for keeping y'all waiting so long. And trust me, y'all ally over here was on me, constantly on me. So I want you to think that she was letting this slip or slide by because she was not. So Sagittarius, let's get into it. Let's see what you have coming in this month. Now, oh, this is going to be posted in March, but this is for February. And shit, before you know it, next week I'm going to start the March monthly. So y'all are kind of be like getting a reading this weekend and another reading, hopefully, that's coming in next week. So let's see. Sagittarius, February reading spirit. Sagittarius, February, February reading. Y'all uh, bear with me. I'm still, still trying to keep this talk stuff right. And the list, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's horrible. So just bear with me. Girl over here still healing. Still trying to pull it together. And it's so weird. I can sing, but I can't talk with the shit. So it's like, what is going on, spirit? What's going on? All right, let me get all these other ones. Mademoiselle Lena, Elena Nitz, made me a little leprechaun bag for next month. Isn't it cute? And it has a matching mat. I can't wait to break it out for St. Patty's Day, but for March readings. But it is so cute. It's a little pot of gold, but this one right now is a little pot of bones. I had to share that with y'all. But I'm seeing and trying to dig them out. Now I know why she was saying shake them in the bag. Because it's hard to pull them out this way. Hold up. Let me see if we can turn it upside down. Get the heart held. The vertebrae. What else is in here? Let's dump it right here on the table. So I can pick everything. Uh, doctor's bag. We need that. Chicken. We need that. Ooh. Adventuring, we definitely need that for the money. All right, the key, mermaid, which is hat. Uh oh, and then spirit. All righty, and what else fell through here? Is there something? Okay, another spirit message. Alrighty, hold up, you guys. All right, there we go. We got it, Sag. Let's get it. Sagittarius for February. Any guidance, any messages? Lord, it took me three minutes just to pick up charms. Sagittarius. All right, let's see what we have. Sag, I've been doing a little spring cleaning and moving stuff around. So y'all going to notice that, uh, don't y'all talk about my fingers. Because somewhere in the midst of some things, I lost a few nails. But don't you talk about me, Sag. I know how y'all can be. So let's get into it. Um, ooh, the, the luck, the money um, hand is on top of your money, which for some of you, this could be with the mockingbirds, some type of uh networking interviewing communication but it's coming in in your money sector and then you also have the sun that is coming across your family and your money um we have the bullet casing which could be like watch your budget but it looks like that y'all have some good news coming in with money now because there's a lot of communication about this i think that this is going to be either getting some news about a job or receiving some news that maybe you have a settlement or something that's going to be coming in for you. Uh, this tooth broke off. Let's get that out the way because there's the rest of it. Um, and then we have big money. Look at this in the middle, Sag. Some of y'all got big money coming in this year and it could be within the next five months. So some of you are really going to get blessed, I think, within the next five to six months with an opportunity that's coming in. Hip is on top of your money, and this is literally like be flexible. Be flexible. There may be something that is opening up for you that maybe you're like, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know if it's a good fit for me. Spirit is saying definitely be flexible because there's a transformation 
that's crossing your money and your health, which means that there's some things that are going to be changing for you. Now, I do see um, there's something that you're not looking at in your money sector. And we have the sword here and then we have money upside down. This could really be your budget, you guys. Watch how you're spending your money because you have money coming in. We got the small calorie shell. And I don't know if y'all can see it there. We got it there. And then we have the big one here. And then we have the money hand, which is coming in, which is like your left hand could be itching. But you do have something that is going to be coming in this year. Some of you, this may be even um, if you're trying to save it for a house, you're going to have some money to come there. There's something with stability. Now, it's not coming in right away because the anchor is upside down, which means that there could be a big move that's coming in for you. But it's not coming right away. So be patient. For some of you with the world right there, you could be relocating or moving somewhere that maybe is a little bit further than where you live now. If this is not a big move, like going across the country or something like this, this could be moving to a different city or different state. And it's going to take some money. Your purse is upside down. So if you've been thinking about moving, be prepared that there may be something that is coming in where you are going to have to spend money to uh, relocate. This could be renting a truck. This could be shipping your stuff somewhere. So be prepared that if you're in, per for some of you, this could be a down payment. Whether you're renting or you're buying, this could be that I got to put some money up front for this move. So I would say be careful. And that could be, be, that could be why Spirit is saying, watch your money. Like you have money coming in or you have an opportunity, but you need to watch your budget or watch the way that you're spending. Now, I feel like some of you, there may be a move away from family because it's showing walking away. The sun card, though, is not showing a negative thing with this, which means that if you are walking or moving, that this is a positive thing for you. Um, there may be an opportunity that takes you away from, you know, your family or your foundation. But it looks like that it actually is going to be a good thing. And we have the plane over here in travel. So for some of you, this is a big move. Now, I get a lot of conversation. Your manifestation hat is upside down kind of goes back with this hip bone of maybe you're trying to manifest something, but it's not going to come in the way that you think it's going to come in, which means that if you're inflexible and you're only looking at something one way, you might miss other opportunities because you're, you're expecting it to just come in straight the way that you want. Now, we know that life is not like that. So if you are anticipating or manifesting, and anytime I talk about manifestation to people, I tell people, you know, be prepared for five different scenarios with that. It may come into you, but there may be some things that need to switch up or change or moves, losing people, gaining people, losing jobs, gaining jobs. There could be something that definitely has to happen with this. So it may not just be like, oh, I want to move to New Zealand and the move comes straight through. Some of you, there may be a job loss that opens up the door for you to move, or it could be that you're offered something that doesn't get you directly to New Zealand, but maybe you have to work it for a year before you're transferred there. So be open with manifestation because we definitely have something with travel that may be coming in, but not exactly the way that you thought. Um, I also see a key. So I feel like travel is going to be big for a lot of you this year. Um, you may be networking with people because we have a lot of communication. Um, Spirit is definitely saying that for some of you, um, you're going to be talking to a lot of people or connecting with a lot of people. If this is a vacation, it's like play, have some fun, you know, open yourself up. If y'all are too serious or too um, stuck on work, because I feel like with all this money coming in, some of you definitely are workaholics or you're focused in on your money this year. But I do see that you need playtime. So make sure that you make room or time for that, okay? Um, doctor's bag is, I mean, oh my God, doctor's bag. It's in your luck sector, which means if you've been having issues with health, we also see um, the butterfly with transformation in health too. So if you've been dealing with something with your health this year, there looks like there's going to be some type of improvement that comes in. Also in your luck sector is the catcher's myth, which means that there's more than one opportunity that's going to be coming your way. So be open to um, things that are falling in your lap. Like I say, be flexible. If you've been putting resumes out there, be prepared that you might get a callback from more than one person. 
if this is um, projects that you're working on, it looks like that good luck is on your side. If you played a lotto, uh, you might want to go ahead and do something in the next four weeks. This may cross over into March. We're already here. So the energy is there. So if you are feeling lucky, go to the casino, play the lotto, because it looks like that you got big money coming in. I would definitely go for it. Um, some of you, there may be some issues with teeth, but it looks like maybe something that's caught early on. It also could be too that there's good luck coming in by using your voice or there may be verbal skills that you are really utilizing this month. So fire signs typically don't have a problem talking to people anyway. Um, a lot of y'all are very extroverted. Even if you're introverted, there's still that energy of, you know, how to turn it on and turn it off when you need to. But I get a lot of communication. Some of you, this could be podcasts. Um, you could be going live on social media, or you could be a consultant where you're talking with a lot of different people. Um, you could be teaching or something where you're on a stage and you're sharing knowledge. There's something with verbal skills that really is opening up opportunity for you. And it's also bringing in money. So however you use your voice, I feel like that this month, really the first six months of this year are going to be beneficial to you. So if you are offered something where you have to get up there and talk, don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to do it because it looks like that there's a lot of public recognition that is coming to you. Now we have over here in the good spell work spirit, um, you may have somebody who's opening doors for you that has crossed over on the other side. Um, good spell work is showing that there's messages that are coming in and in spirit messages, we have a lot. Some of you may have a past love that's coming in. This could be somebody that you dated before in this lifetime. For some of you, though, this could even be somebody that's a karmic relationship because I'm getting a lot of spirit or telepathy uh, messages that are coming in. Could be that this person is dreaming about you or you're dreaming about somebody and you're like, I've never seen this person before in my life. But it could be because their energy is already connected to you. So for some of you, you may have reconciliation with somebody from the past that wants to come back and give this another try. But I also feel for a few of you that this may be a karmic relationship that is about to uh, introduce itself to you in this lifetime and within the next few months. Let's see. I do get something with, um, I feel like that there is like walking a path. This could be a spiritual path where you're being led to something. Um, this could be religion. This could be spirituality. But I feel like there is some energy of, walking a certain path. Now, for some of you, if you are spiritual or religious and you are utilizing this as a business, you have a venturing here, which means that there could be making money off of something that you practice. Um, if you are practicing any type of ATR or tradition that has to deal with spirituality, um, there is something where you can make money. There's opening doors for, for money to come in. Now, let's see with love. Love, we definitely have potential coming in. If you were uh, kind of closed off to love, I feel like that you are going to have somebody who's going to cross your path. Now, we have the energy of a couple of people that are coming in. One seems to be really good. The other one is a little bit of a devil. So it could be that you are connecting with somebody and I feel fire energy. Some of you might be connecting to another fire sign because I'm getting spicy on spicy. And it may be that there's a little bit of headbutting. A few of you might even be meeting somebody through a job opportunity. Um, there may be something where you're getting a new job or an opportunity and you end up connecting with someone. You may not like this person at first. There's something that comes in where there may be an energy of this person having to grow on you. If you are traveling out, we have the mermaid and this is vacation. You could be meeting somebody at the beach or around water. I feel like that you are really kind of planning your boundaries, uh, not just this month, but this year. Some of you are like, I'm not going to settle. So I get a lot of communication um, before something starts, exclamation is on top of love for you. And it's kind of like, I'm going to get what I want or I don't want it. So you may be putting your foot down when it comes to things that you want this year. And that may be even including love or the people that you let around you. 
especially if past love is coming back and this person is like, I've changed, let's connect, let's get back together. And you're like, you know, no, you're not. And I'm not going to settle for you. So there may be this energy. If you see the muscle arm is on the other side facing the camera, and this is somebody standing in their power. Exclamation is like, I said what I said, period. You're not going to push me to do anything that I don't want to do. Now, we see flexibility in money, but we don't see flexibility in love. And it may be that some of you have been hurt before where it's like, I'm not going to put up with just anything. I'm not going to settle with anything. In fact, you're really trusting your intuition is what it looks like. So I feel like if anybody is coming towards you and they're not really the right energy, you're not going to do it. Now, some of you, you do have the demon head on your heart. Um, I do get claws in the back, spell work, and I get handcuffs. And this could be somebody trying to slow you down or trying to bind you. Um, be careful of getting in a relationship with someone that tries to tell you what to do. And I don't think it's going to work. Spicy on spicy, standing in your power. So if you have somebody who's coming in and they're starting to stress you out, I think you're going to go ahead and just cut them off. We do have the dick and we have the devil head. Demon dick could be on its way and you might play with it, participate with it a little bit, but it's not like you're going to let it take control of you, which is good. Stand your ground with that. Don't be mesmerized by that, by that demon dick. Um, you know, it, it may be good, but I see some stress that comes with it. And of course, a lot of times it happens that way. You get some good, good, and you got to deal with some problems with it. May not, it may not affect everyone, but for some of you, I feel like that, yeah, you're going to meet somebody. There may be some good, good that comes in with it. This person may be very alpha energy, whether they're male or female, and they may try to tell you what to do or how to run things. And you're like, no, I'm standing in my power. So, you know, if they're going to come in and try to take over, I don't think it's going to happen with you, Sagittarius. I think some of you are like, nope, I ain't playing games. I'm asserting myself this year. The vertebrae is there standing up, asserting backbone. Now, whatever this is over here in the bad spell work with this conflict and feeling bound, um, some of you may feel trapped in a situation. This could be a job where it's like, I want to leave, but I really don't feel like this is the right time. This could even be a relationship where it's like, I'm ready to move on, but I don't want to deal with any conflict or issues. If this is really bad spell work, you could have somebody who's trying to kind of keep you stuck. So move in silence. You have some things that are opening up for you this month. Well, actually, since we're moving, since we're already in um, March, I will say that if this energy hasn't cleared up, it may carry over. It may. We'll see what's going to happen in March. But this is like somebody trying to, the handcuffs are there where it's like, I'm trying to bind you and there's conflict on it. And we see that it's like, I'm not going to have it happen. It's not going to happen with me. So for a few of you, if this is a job, a person or an energy that is trying to hold you back, you're literally not even giving into it. It may make things a little bit harder. There may be some obstacles. And then I see you kind of pushing forward. I think for some of you, this is in love though, because the heart is upside down. So you may have somebody who's like, I only want you Sagittarius. I don't want you to talk to other people. I want you to do what I tell you to do. I don't want you going out. Don't take no vacations with me. Don't go out on no dates. I don't want you hanging out with your boys or your girls. And Sagittarius is not feeling it. So some of you definitely, there may be some conflict with love, especially if somebody's trying to hold you back. Now we do have in the home sector, some of you are definitely going to be moving out. Watch your money. There's some expenses that's coming in. I see you possibly the chicken foot is on top of the house. This could be talking to a real estate agent. If you're looking for condos or apartments, this could be going around researching things. Angel wings are all in, in your home. And this could be somebody on the other side opening opportunities for you or opening doors or roads for you. So it could be that you have an angel, a guardian angel, or either a loved one who is watching over you um, when it comes to moving. We do see a move and the anchor is there. Be patient, even though the anchor is there, it's upside down, which means that you're making a move, but it's going to take you a little bit to get some stability with it. Don't expect everything to fall into place. Be flexible. Now we do have evil eye energy and both of them are upright, which means that you definitely have some haters next to your key with this new beginning. Don't tell people what you're doing. There's going to be some jealousy. Some of you are getting an opportunity that's going to be really, really good for you. And there's a little bit of jealousy with this new beginning. And there's two people 
that are on either side of this cross, which could be that you are having a difference of opinions with someone. Maybe that you're moving and you're going somewhere else and this person is like, look, no, I don't think this is a good move for you. So there may be some um, some situation where somebody's trying to either make you feel obligated to them or this could be you having to caretake somebody and they just don't want to see you leave. I think it's two different energies. I think over here is jealousy. And I think this one is somebody is like, I really want you to stay with me. So there may be two different conversations of people around you. But I will say with evil eye upright, some of you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you may have a group of people that are really not happy to see you move forward. And I mean, your opportunity is there. So don't let them hold you back. We definitely see big money coming in. Some of you are going to be making friends in um, a new job or a new environment. Um, if you had some legal situation that was going on, it looks like that you're cutting it away. So if this was income tax or settlements or whatever, there's something that is going to be, um, I feel like, either worked out or put in place to where it is over or done. So if you've been dealing with a long-term legal, legal thing, it looks like it's coming to the end. Now, we do see money coming in, blooming is on top of it. So I will say springtime should be a really good time for you guys. March, April, moving into May, there may be good news about job opportunities or side hustles or something that opens up. Some of you might even be gardening or doing some lawn work that brings in additional money. Your crown is upside down um, next to your money, which means that some of you could be getting a job and making money where you 100% at the beginning are like, am I uh, suited for this? Is this the right job for me? Don't doubt yourself. Um, I feel like there's so much energy of standing in your power that when it comes to maybe something new that's opening up, because we do see transformation in money, we also see money coming in, blooming. Some of you might be making more money this year than you've ever made before. And because you haven't made it like this, you're kind of a little bit, there's some self esteem. Like, am I doing this right? Is this going to last for me? Is this going to be good for me? So I think you have to come out of your head. Um, sun card is on top of you. Positive energy coming in this month. Bullet casing is definitely like what you're spending. And that may be where the crown is upside down, where you have money coming in, but you have an issue with your spending that needs to be taken care of, Sagittarius. So no more Amazon orders. I mean, you know, get what you need for this new job or whatever you need to complete whatever your goal is. But watch your budget because for some of you, there's some big changes that are coming in and you're going to need this. Oh, I didn't even do the walnut. It was in the family. Some of you could be uh, welcoming a new baby. This could be a new beginning, um, maybe a move for a family. For some of you, definitely, you may, there's emotion. There's emotion. There may be something going on in the family that you're very emotional about, or you will be emotional. Um, walking away is there, which could be that there's a big move. And like I said, you're going to a different place and you're worried about leaving people behind or leaving someone behind. Or either with that cross, you may have somebody that doesn't want to let go of you. For some of you, there's major, major move, major action. So this is not the year to sit back and think about it. This really is the year for you to put everything together. Sagittarius, Sagittarius spirit. Any guidance, any messages? Sagittarius, one more time. All right, let's see what we have. So we have the fool, but it's reversed, stuck, risk-taking, resistance. Change coming in. Knight of Wands, property move. Ah, uh, yeah. So you have a move that's coming in, action. And things are, maybe you had some stuff that was going too slow and now it's starting to pick up speed and you're a little bit worried about it. Like, do I have what it takes? Is everything in order? Because the fool is about taking a leap of faith in reverse. It's kind of like, okay, I want to do it. Like, it's like being on a bungee jump platform and you're like, okay, one, two, three. Okay, one, two. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, and then somebody just has to push you off because you're having a hard time pulling that trigger on it. And it may be that this move is something that you want, but maybe you're not completely prepared for, or there's not the whole plan there yet. And then we have the high priestess in reverse. And this is 
needing to listen to your inner voice, hidden agendas. So it could be that there's a move that's coming in, but you're not being told everything. And maybe that's where this is coming in. Like, okay, I'm going through something in life. Things are changing, but I don't have the whole picture or I feel like I'm not being told the whole picture. If you're purchasing a home, walking through it, an apartment or anything like that, any type of real estate, take your time. Take your time, really look at things, make sure you're getting what you asked for. Make sure everything is the way that you need it to be because with this high priest, this is, this is either not trusting your intuition or some things that are being hidden. Now, the sun card is illumination, which means that Whatever the doubts are that you're not seeing here, you're going to kind of jump that back in that next day and be like, okay, all right, I got it. Clarity is there. Success. Whatever the fear is, it looks like you open your eyes and you see something a little bit more um, clearly in a better in a better way. And then we have the six of swords, better conditions, moving on, moving from something that may have been chaotic or something that you felt stuck in. And it's like, okay. The road has opened. Now I'm going to sail through it. I'm going to move in. I don't have the waves. I don't have the obstacles. And then we have the emperor, but in reverse, domination, control, inflexibility. Now, this could be on top of you because we saw spirit saying you need to be more flexible, which means something is opening up, but it may be manifesting in a different way than you thought. And because it's not manifesting in that way that you pictured, you're like, okay, I don't want it or I need to change it. So for some of you, you're going to have to get out of your own way. If you are manifesting something, be prepared to be flexible. For some of you, this emperor could be a male energy that is just dominating. Like, I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to go anywhere. It's masculine energy, so it could be male or female, but it may be somebody who's trying to hold you back from this move. Moon card is showing an illusion. Um, possibly fear. But I think somebody may be afraid that you're going to walk away from them or leave them and, you know, go on about your business and not come back. There's also an illusion of something not being seen. So it may be that, too, you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have the same vision as you. Like there's something that opens up for you and you're already a little bit afraid. Maybe you talk to someone, you share your fears and they're like, yeah, you know, I don't think you should do it. That's too far away. But I get something with fear. And I think there is either you being afraid to move forward or somebody afraid for you to move forward. Ace of Swords, breakthrough and the upright breakthrough, new ideas, beginning, success, focus. Three of Cups, reverse, untrustworthy friends, loss of a group. And I tell you, that's going to be evil eye energy. It's going to be these people that are seeing something happen for you. And success is on top of it. And some people are going to be like, I don't know how they got it. How are they able to move forward? Um, this is definitely going to be some jealousy. And some of you are going to be withdrawing for some people. You Maybe you've already started pulling away. If this is a job opportunity or a promotion that you're fighting for, there's competition. Some of you are definitely going to have some jealousy if you get opportunities that somebody else wanted. This could be friends. This could even be family that you may be dealing with. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Manipulation, hidden motivations. Uh, so something opens up for you. Somebody doesn't want you to take it. So they're going to try to manipulate you out of it. But that could be why you end up losing friends. I see you trying to play me. I see you trying to make me doubt myself. Some of you don't want to hear it. And if you're like the Sagittarius over here, if I say something she don't want to hear, who Lord, I get the look. I get the you ain't supporting me talk. I get the why you say that. I get and I'm like, oh, I ain't mean it like that. But Lord, when you try to tell a, Sagitt a Sagittarius something that they don't want to hear, be prepared. And I know y'all already know. So some of y'all are going to have this conversation with someone. Eight of Swords is restrictions, limitations, but Eight of Swords is typically you holding yourself back, not somebody else doing it. Could be that somebody is trying to manipulate you and make you feel obligated. And then you're like, okay, well, you know what? Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll hold up. And I know that ain't happening over here with this one because she her bag's been packed. Since 2011, <laughs> she's been ready to go. Three of Wands, leadership, support. Don't, that crown was upside down. And I think I know exactly what this is. There's an opportunity that's coming in and somebody got in your head. It made you feel like that you're not ready for it. So the crown is upside down. Leadership is on top of you. Goals, focus, and direction is there. 
So there may be this issue with this eight of swords, holding yourself back, not letting yourself really go um, stand in your power. Um, let's see. Seven of swords, sneaking away, cunning, taking. You got competition. Some of you definitely could be going to a new job or a new place where there's going to be some competition. Leadership is on top of you. You're going to have somebody that tries to make you think that you're not good enough for something, job, opportunity, uh, project that you're working on. But then we have the five of wands in reverse, harmony, breakthroughs, positive change, new opportunities. And then we have nine of wands, battling of strength, will, determination, and then victory. So for some of you, you're going to be offered an opportunity where there's some competition. You're moving to the big to the big boys table. If you've been in corporate America, there may be something that is opening up to you that you are now dealing with a different caliber of people. And these people are a little bit more cutthroat. They're also a little bit more competitive. If you're trying to start something with friends or family and you're getting some recognition and you are shining a little bit more, there's some jealousy. There's a little bit of manipulation and somebody's competing with you. At the end of the day, you got victory. You have victory. This is like outsmarting somebody. It is literally not talking about them, not arguing with them, but outthinking them. It's the strength of determination, which means that you think that you're competing against me, but I've already won. I just have to turn it up a little bit more to get to the finish line. So if you've ever been at a track meet and you see the two people running for that, that, that finish line or whatever, that person that stretches that toe out a little bit more so that it hits the finish line before the other person, that's the energy you guys are going to be dealing with. It's almost like you think you're going to beat me, but I'm going to pull it out. So be prepared that there may be some stagnation around you for a minute because somebody's trying to play games with your mind. This is either somebody who doesn't want you to move forward, could be family, or it could be that you are competing against somebody or you're walking away from somebody, but you're getting a different opportunity. There's a little bit of jealousy that's coming in. And even if you are starting a new job, you may have people that are really talking about you because there's a lot of public recognition, standing in your power, being really strong, being assertive. And somebody's going to really try to get into your head and rattle you a little bit. May it, and it may do it, but you're going to pull it back because you're going to be like, look, this is why I'm here. This is what I'm trying to do. And this is what I am going to do. And then voila, victory. That foot or that toe crosses the finish line before. Don't let anybody get into your head this month, Sagittarius. You worked hard for some type of opportunity and it looks like it's coming to you. Be flexible though. Be flexible. I keep hearing it. Patience and flexibility are going to be your friend. And I don't think just this month, but I think for the whole year for you guys, because there's big money that's coming in. That's not all dropping in next month. That's literally a year. And it's in the middle, which means that if you play it right and you really focus on what you're trying to do, some of you are going to come out with big money this year, like big earnings, whether this is your own business or a job that you're going for. But there's something that opens up that has the potential to put you in a very, very good position financially. All right. All right, Sagittarius. Again, I apologize for being so late, but I hope I made up for it. I love you guys. Have a good one.